Ahmed from Sweden, he says that I wasn't a practicing Muslim. And like many practicing, uh, uh, non-practicing Muslims in the West, everybody is putting tattoos. So everybody has some ink on their body, unfortunately. And now it's becoming a trend even among the Muslims. They see movies, they see um, athletes, they see uh, soccer players with all this ink on their body. So horrific, so ugly. And they would like to have something just to show that they're sophisticated. I've seen people memorizing the Quran, Hafiz, who used to be Hafiz, who drifted and shifted and went way, way away from Islam because they listen to their demons. They follow their whims and desires. They have no personality. They have no attachment to the deen except maybe a few prayers here and there and few charities. Putting tattoos on their arms. Women are putting tattoos on their hands. I don't know if they have this uh, um, Trump stamp. <laughs> we don't see this, alhamdulillah. But they, they have tattoos on their feet. They have tattoos on their legs. What is this? You guys are Muslim. Didn't you know that the Prophet said, alayhi salatu in uh, uh, um, uh, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, narrated in the Sahih, that the Prophet, alayhi salam, cursed those tattoo artists and those who have the tattoo done to them? Yeah, yeah, but this is uh, understood in a different way. Maybe the hadith is not right. Maybe it's in the Sahih. Yeah, yeah, but this is not logical. So then you have an issue with submission to Allah. Like the issue that Iblis had. Why didn't you prostrate to Adam? I'm better than him. Oh, so you have, it's an attitude problem. So, Akhi Ahmad, the good news is, you, as long as you started practicing, and you repented to Allah from these tattoos, and you have deep remorse, and you're asking Allah for forgiveness, Allah will forgive you. Now, the issue is what to do with these tattoos. I don't know. If medically can be removed, alhamdulillah, and there's no harm on you, and you can afford it, then go ahead for it. If not, then there's no problem. It does not impact your salat. It does not impact your purity. But you have to keep it covered all the time so that you would not be a billboard for other Muslims to follow suit. So you try your level best to cover them if they are coverable, but if they are in your face, <laughs> may Allah forbid, or in your neck and you, you can't cover that, then alhamdulillah, there is no sin on you as long as you have repented and Allah Azza wa knows best. This is 